一百七十三。中国日报香港版 c a r b o n Kills e a n a t i o n Southeast 二千零一十五零七二十七 World P 十六 Turkey Military Blames Kurdish Rebels for Attack as Ankara Increases Pressure on Kurdistan Workers Party by Agencies in Ankara c a r b o n Struck a Military Vehicle in Southeast Turkey Killing to a Soldier and Wounding for Others in an Attack Blamed on Kurdish Rebels Authorities said on Sunday A day after Turkey launched air strikes against Kurdish insurgents in northern Iraq, the military blamed Kurdish militants for the attack and said operations in area were ongoing. The car bomb exploded late on Saturday on a road in the town of Lis as a vehicle carrying military police officers was traveling to intervene against Kurds who had blocked a main intersection, said the governor's office in Diyarbakir, a mainly Kurdish province. It said the military had launched an operation to capture the attackers. Assailants also attacked a police station in Diyarbakir, sparking a gun battle. The state-run Anadolu agency reported no one was injured in that attack. The blast appears to be the latest attack by the Kurdistan Workers Party or PKK in response to Ankara's crackdown on Kurdish militants this week. Which was launched in tandem with strikes against the Islamic State group on Saturday. Turkish fighter jets and ground forces hit Islamic State militants in Syria and PKK camps in Iraq in the campaign that Ankara said would help create a safe zone across swaths of northern Syria. Tensions have been flaring with the Kurds in recent days following an suicide bombing in a town near the border with Syria. Kurdish groups have blamed the government for not doing enough to prevent its operations. On Wednesday, the PKK claimed responsibility for the killing of two policemen in the Kurdish majority city of San Leofa. The strikes against the PKK have raised concerns about the future of the shaky Kurdish peace process, which was started in late 2021. Has stalled recently. The United States condemns recent attacks by the PKK in Turkey. A senior U.S. diplomat said on Twitter, "There is no connection between these air strikes against PKK and recent understandings to intensify U.S. Turkey cooperation against ISIL," said Brett Mikberg, the deputy special presidential envoy for the coalition to counter an Islamic State, using one of Islamic State's acronyms. Late Saturday, the White House said Turkey has the right to defend itself against attacks by Kurdish rebels. Reuters said there is no connection between these air strikes against PKK and against ISIL. Brett Mikberg, senior U.S. diplomat.